हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू एट लोगोज माइंड नाउ सिक्स क्लास जियोग्राफी मोशन ऑफ द अर्थ एन सी आई टी क्वेश्चन आंसर वॉट इज द एंगल ऑफ इंक्लाइनेशन ऑफ द आर्थ एक्सिस विथ इट्स ऑर्बिटल प्लेन द एंगल ऑफ इंक्लाइनेशन ऑफ द आर्थ एक्सिस विथ इट्स ऑर्बिटल प्लेन इज सिक्स सिक्सटी सिक्स एंड हाफ डिग्री डिफाइन रोटेशन एंड रिवोल्यूशन ऑल ऑफ यू न्यू फ्रॉम द चाइल्ड हुड यू आर स्टडिंग दैट रोटेशन इज द मूवमेंट ऑफ द आर्थ आउट ऑन इट्स एक्सिस रिवोल्यूशन इज द मूवमेंट ऑफ द आर्थ अराउंड द सन इन ए फिक्सड पर्थ ऑर्बिट वॉट इज लिपियर द आर्थ टेक्स 365 one fourth days to revolve revolve around the sun however for the sake of convenience we consider it as a year as consisting of 365 days this 6 hours one fourth day one fourth of 24 hours that are ignored only 365 days we are taking for one year and this 1/4 of 24 hours after 4 years this make one day that is that that are ignored make one day 24 hours over a span of 4 years means after 4 years this 1/4 uh, 6 hours making one day and that is after every four years it is added one day in the 365 days this surplus day is added to the month of february thus every four years february has 29 days and such a year with 366 days is known as a leap year now next question difference between summer solstice and winter solstice summer solstice it is the position of the earth when the rays of the sun fall directly on the tropic of cancer winter solstice it is the position of the earth when the rays of the sun fall directly on the tropic of capricorn in this position that is summer solstice in this position the north pole is tilted towards the sun winter solstice in this position the north pole is tilted away from the sun that is again summer solstice a larger portion of the northern hemisphere gets light from the sun hence it is summer in the northern hemisphere a larger portion of the southern hemisphere gets light from the sun hence it is winter in the northern hemisphere now what is equinox equinox is the position of the earth when the rays of the sun falls directly on equator at this position neither the pole is tilted towards the sun as a result the entire earth has equal days and equal nights why does the southern hemisphere experience winter and summer solstice in different times than that of the northern hemisphere when the north pole is tilted towards the sun the northern hemisphere experiences summer solstice at this time since the south pole is tilted away from the sun the southern hemisphere experiences winter solstice when the north pole is tilted away from the sun the northern hemisphere experiences winter solstice at this time since the southern pole is tilted towards the sun 
the southern hemisphere experiences summer solstice why do the poles experiences about 6 months day and 6 months night the poles experiences about 6 months of day and 6 months of night because of the tilt of the earth on its axis because of this tilt each pole is tilted towards and away from the sun for about 6 months each when the north pole is tilted towards the sun it experiences continuous daylight for 6 months 6 month continuous day northern pole it is night for the same time period at the south pole means when the northern pole is day south pole is continuous night that time 6 months these conditions are reserved reversed when the south pole is tilted towards the sun means south pole when it is 6 months day north pole is 6 month night that is the reverse condition if you like this video then give a thumb thank you very much